Sweaty Club and welcome to Phuket Extra for another week. Only four more sleeps to Christmas to today's local and national news. After months of deadline extensions for the Sam Kong underpass project, the Phuket Department of Highways is giving the construction company only one more month before it starts to levy hefty fines. Once the fines begin, WeWet Construction will receive fines of up to 2 million baht per day. The governor will also have the right to cancel the contract at the end of February with even larger fines. Transport officials say the underpass is only 60% complete and unlikely to be opened until at least April or May next year. A second British woman is dead on Phuket's roads in the past eight days, this time with a female tourist called Elizabeth falling from the back of a tuk-tuk in Kamala. It happened at 3am on Sunday morning as the woman and a man returned from an evening in Soy Bangla to their resort at Surin Beach. The 44-year-old driver passed a breath test and claims he was only travelling at 40 kilometres an hour when it happened. The woman was taken to Ashira Hospital, but doctors were unable to revive her. Phuket has been recognised as one of 47 cities under the Gastronomy category at the UNESCO Creative Cities Network. According to the UNESCO statement, there are 47 cities from 33 countries designated as winners in the UNESCO Creative Cities Network. The categories include crafts and folk art, design, film, gastronomy, literature, media arts and music. Coming up next, a container of ivory in Samui, some worrying drug stats for Thailand and a win for that tuk-tuk dress. Well, that's all coming up next on Phuket Extra. Welcome back to a new week of Phuket Extra to some national news and a huge shipment of ivory has been seized at Koh Samui Airport. Authorities seized 700 kilograms of elephant tusks worth 40 million baht. The tusks were found in a cargo container that was marked as carrying hair wigs. The shipment uh, had been sent from Singapore, was on its way to Laos and then to China. Thailand has seized more than 90 million speed pills and more than a ton of crystal meth this year. The Office of Narcotics Control uh, also says it's admitted 120,000 drug addicts for rehab. Burma is still the world's biggest producer of Yaba pills and more than a billion are thought to enter Thailand every year. And some good news from the Miss Universe pageant in Thailand. Las Vegas. Miss Thailand got into the top 10, but didn't progress to the top five. But Nat from Lampang in Thailand's north did win the best national costume in that iconic tuk-tuk dress. The event was being held in Las Vegas Monday morning, Thai time. Well, that's all we've got time for today in Phuket Extra. I hope you've enjoyed the program. We're back again tomorrow. We'll see you then. PIMEX 2016 is on the way. Following a record-breaking 12th Phuket International Boat Show, Royal Phuket Marina will once again host this magnificent event. Running from January 7th to the 10th, featuring over 50 luxury yachts in the water and many lifestyle brands exhibiting in the main hall. It's free to attend and sure to impress. PIMEX 2016, presented by Thailand Elite from January 7th to the 10th at the Royal Phuket Marina. Go to PhuketBoatShow.com.